All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know that I caught two 21-inch reds. Um, that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to fillet these bad boys up. Um, this is the first fish here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start filleting it and kind of talk you through how I'm doing it. This is in 4K, uh, so you're getting, you know, max, uh, max resolution here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right here behind the gill plate. You see that? So all I'm going to do is cut right there. I'm going to cut all the way down until I got to get through the scales first. I get under the scales. There we go. And I'm just going to cut down until I hit the uh, the rib cage. Man, these scales are thick. I forgot about this. I haven't played a red fish in a long time. Come on, there we go. Got how many scales? Lots of scales. All right, so you make your initial cut right there. See that? Initial cut, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your knife along the length of the uh, spine, right here on the back, and then you're gonna poke it out about here, and then put it through the tail. I'm gonna do that now. I'll try to uh, turn it here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna go right. I gotta find the uh, the sweet spot here. Come on. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right down the back of the fish. Once I get about here on the tail, see that? Rotate it again for you guys. Other way now. So we've got kind of this opening here, you can see on the fish. See that? That's all the meat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down. Once I get about, about there, I'm gonna poke it through, see that? I'm going to make sure I run it up and over the backbone. I'm just going to cut all that off. Right off the tail, just like that. See that? So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run my knife. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. I'm going to run my knife along the back of the fish here. Just deepening that previous cut that I made. I'm not forcing it. I'm just letting the knife do the work. I'm going right over the rib cage, so you can kind of see it there. That's kind of what I got now. I'm gonna go right. You can feel the ribs as you're cutting. You're gonna to want to go right over those. So that's what I'm doing now. Cool. And then once you uh, kind of finish, you can, you can see the fillet there. So once you finish the fillet, what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to cut diagonally. Yeah, let me turn it. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see as much of this as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut now diagonally across to about there. Let me cut that up a little more. You just keep cutting until you get to where all the guts are and whatnot. And then you want to cut diagonally across that. So I'm just going to cut I'm sure of my knife. That's bad. There we go. So that's one side of the fillet there. A little, little messed up, but you know, it's, it's bound to happen. And set that to the side. Let me get a pan for that. I meant plate. I don't know why I said pan. But uh, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the exact same thing that we just did on the other side of the fish. So, doing the exact same thing except inverse. All right. I'm going to cut down. Once again, I'm going to poke it out. Continue running it right over the length of the tail. I'm 
Let my knife do the work. Turn so you guys can see. Let my knife do the work here. I'm just gonna run it right down the backbone. Hugging the backbone as I cut down. Running right over the ribs. Now I'm gonna go up and over the guts. All right, and then once you're ready to skin them, I already did two, and then I forgot I didn't show you guys. You're gonna start down here at this tail end here. Move it a little closer so you guys can see. Start right down here at this tail end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut down, and then once you get down to the skin, that's what you're gonna hold onto with your fingers right here. So peel back that, you know, cut over just, just a little. Peel it up, fingers down. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna keep your knife kind of angled down while you're cutting so you uh, can easily get that skin off with as much meat as possible. If you get a little bit of the skin uh, attached to the meat, that's fine. You can easily take that off. You just keep running your knife down at an angle and out. And then once you get it, there you go. That's all you're left with. So you can see I missed a little bit you know, there and there, but overall, uh, not, not, too, uh, not too shabby. And that's that's the whole filet. So that's that's everything you can eat. Got one more. I'll show you guys. This one's a little skinnier. Lots of scales. I don't usually scale my redfish, but uh, I think some people do. So what you're gonna do is again, cut down one slice, over just a little, flip it up. That's what you're holding on to. And then you're gonna cut down. Meat's soft, so you shouldn't have to like you know saw at it. Just one swipe, the knife angled down so you can get as much of the meat off the skin as possible. You can kind of move your hand up as you see I'm doing. And there you go. And there was a couple rib bones in there that I had missed. I, I ended up cutting through those. That's why there's more meat on this one. But uh, that's your skin fillet. And this is all your meat right here. And then I'll show you guys how we're going to make these. I'm going to go ahead and grab the spices real quick. There we go. All right, so these are all of our spices here. I've already got them uh, measured out, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that in a bowl. We're going to go ahead and mix those up, and then once we're done with that, we're going to dip the fillets in butter on both sides. Boom. Um, we're going to put them on the parchment paper, and then we're going to sprinkle the seasonings on top, both sides, and uh, then we're going to blacken them in the pan. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dip our first fillet here. Make sure to get it nice and coated. I'm going to want the parchment paper close by so I don't drip anything anywhere. All right. Probably should have used a bigger container for it, but you know, work with what I got. There we go. I'm gonna lay it on the parchment paper here. 
Same deal for the next one. All right, now we're just gonna sprinkle this over the tops of our fish here. This one kind of fell apart while I was doing it, but that's all right. Just means we'll have smaller portions. You wanna make sure you really pat those in there. Get all the seasonings. Now we're gonna move it over here to the stove. All right, and then you wanna make sure your pan is nice and hot. It's gonna smoke up a little, so you wanna make sure it's gonna throw a couple drops of water on there. Oh yeah, good and hot. All right, so now that it's nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of the fillets on there. That's pretty much what you want right there. You can already see it's starting to get white around the edges here. You want to keep these on here for a good minute, making sure that it gets nice and crispy on the other side before you flip it. Making sure it doesn't stick to the pan or anything. I suggest using a non-stick pan. Then once you're starting to see the edges here get fully white, you know it's about good time to flip over. Perfect. That's exactly what we want right there. Gonna cook it all the way through. Best way to tell if they're done is just look at it in the middle. See how it's flaking apart? Uh, maybe you can't, but I can. Flaking apart, perfect. You know that it's done. I'm gonna transfer it over here. So I'll show you guys in just a little bit. We're gonna do another fillet. It's gotta be hot like that. Alrighty, we've got the last filet here. Crumple up your parchment paper, throw it away. Alright, so now that our fish is now done, we've got some Texas toast, some garlic mashed potatoes, and some um, macaroni, five cheese macaroni. So those are my two favorite sides, or three favorite sides, I should say. I love Texas toast. Goes great with everything. Highly suggest it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get a taste test of this fish here. Really good. Um, it's not burnt, but it's definitely crispy. Good spice on it, which I was kind of surprised at. I put a lot of spice in there, so I didn't know how that would turn out, but highly suggest to you guys. It's gonna be down in the uh, description below, so check that out. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.